Hi folks, welcome back. My name is Joe. In this series, I'm introducing you to some of the weirdest, some of the coolest cacti and other succulent plants that I grow in my collection. Come on, take a look. Today I'd like to talk about some cacti that can be grown in hanging pots or hanging baskets like this or actually another variety of hanging pots available is uh, this type as well. This one is made of plastic. This one uses an organic, uh, I think, coconut based product that uh, uses fibers, very well draining. And I, I actually quite prefer this type of hanging basket simply because of its uh, wonderful drainage. This is the monkey tail cactus as it's known by its common name. And it's probably the most common and widespread cactus that is grown from hanging baskets or hanging pots because it actually develops this wonderful form and especially when it shows its flowers it can be quite a sight in any collection. Now the botanical name for this cactus is potentially a bit confusing because it's actually been classified and reclassified across several different genera and so you can find it under the name Hildevintra Cola de Mononis, quite a mouthful. You can find it under the name Cleistocactus Vintri. And as far as I know, currently the valid botanical name actually is Cleistocactus Cola de Mononis. Still a mouthful. So maybe uh, monkey tail cactus is the easiest. <laughs> These beautiful long stems are actually covered with whitish, quite long hairs, bristles, spines, sort of a combination. Uh, they look very soft, but they're actually quite prickly when you, uh, when you touch them. They can actually grow up to two and a half meters in length. That's, uh, what's that, seven or eight feet in length. It shows its beautiful red flowers from mid-spring, late spring onwards. The monkey tail cactus originally comes from areas in Bolivia where it grows on steep rocky cliffs overlooking jungle vegetation. So it'll be clinging onto rocks, growing in crevices in the rocks and will be hanging off these uh, large rocks and cliffs. That, of course, gives us quite some clues for how best to cultivate the monkey tail cactus. So it does actually appreciate, as it would be growing in a similar way in its natural habitat, it does appreciate this hanging form of growing and therefore is ideally suited for uh, hanging baskets. The other thing that we can take from the natural habitat, which is growing on these steep cliffs, is that it can actually uh, tolerate quite a bit of direct sunlight. And so, um, although the cactus can also be grown quite well in a relatively shade, sun mixed environment or even full shade, it does best when it's actually grown in a pretty bright, sunny location. You can see that's how I grow it in my greenhouse. I've got it hanging quite close to the greenhouse roof glazing and so relatively sunny and quite warm. For that reason it also appreciates quite a bit of watering in the uh, spring and summer main growth period. A bit like all other cacti you know make sure that the substrate properly dries out before the next watering so that there's no risk of over watering and root rot. If you're using a cactus soil mix that has some mineral components as well, zeolites, pumice, grit. The well-draining cactus soil mix is best suited for this plant. When you start growing this plant, and uh, should you be buying it as a young plant, which is what I did as well, of course, then uh, you know usually the plant 
the stems are about maybe 10 centimeters, five inches or so high. At that point in time, of course, the plant will not yet be uh, hanging, but you know, plant it in a hanging basket and very soon as it grows in length. And in ideal climates, it can actually grow up to a foot per season. As soon as you get the stems growing, they will uh, sideways sort of spill over the sides of the basket or the pot and will start to develop this very nice to look at shape. As I say, although the plant can be grown in full shade or partial shade, I do think that if you want to experience its uh, wonderful flowers, you should probably keep it in a pretty sunny location. Also, keep the plant in a well aerated, you know, uh, nicely open sort of environment with lots of air movement. Avoid stagnant air and that will also help prevent pests. The monkey tail cactus unfortunately is a little prone to infestations from mealybugs, from spider mites or uh, scale insects. To get rid of those, you know, use a cotton ball or q-tip and uh, use rubbing alcohol to remove the insects and then use a light insecticide like neem to avoid fresh infestations. And in winter, of course, keep the plant quite dry and in a cool location. I've not tried it myself, but I've read that the plant apparently tolerates sub-freezing temperatures for short periods of time, which is what it uh, is exposed to in its natural habitat in Bolivia. Like I say, I've not tried it, and uh, I don't think I am going to try that. Uh, but I do keep it in my greenhouse at about 5 degrees Celsius in the winter time during the dormancy period. So definitely another wonderful cactus that I can really recommend growing and uh, this one in a hanging pot or basket which really adds to the variety of plants and plant forms in any collection. If you're looking for really fantastic cacti that uh, can be grown from out of hanging pots, then all the species and hybrids of the genus Hildevintra, especially Hildevintra or Espina and all its uh, hybrids, they are really fantastic plants, as I say, for uh, hanging pots. The wonderful flowers appear in all colors and shades of colors that uh, have been bred through the many, many hybrids. They're quite easy to grow cacti. Give them a nice sunny location in your collection and um, they will quite rapidly develop a nice cluster of hanging uh, stems which uh, develop these beautiful flowers in mid-spring. Hope you found this video useful and you like the uh, plants that were shown. If you did, I'd really appreciate, as always, if you click the like, and even better, if you subscribe to my channel. I'll see you soon again. Happy growing. Take care. Bye-bye.